<laughs> no, don't go away, because I got something really great to show you. Hey, welcome to another Money Today. Uh, today I thought we would go a little bit conspiracy and talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is the origin of banking, money, and cryptocurrency. You're going to see a lot of theories out there. So I might as well have my own, right? Uh, and let's see if I don't back that up. I want you to follow along with me. And if you find anything that I'm saying that doesn't make sense to you, then please look it up and then give me some feedback. Because I think this is a very important subject for us. Now, there's some great videos out there. And I'm going to post uh, one in the description. The infographics show goes, does a really great job of explaining, you know, what we know, this kind of like weird, mysterious venture through Satoshi Nakamoto around 2008, creating Bitcoin. And then the possibilities of these other people who might have created Bitcoins or been part of that creation, such as Craig Wright, or Dave Kleinman, Hal Finney, Dorian Nakamoto. Nick Sabo. Now, a few of these people, of course, have passed away, some of them a little mysteriously. Uh, and the story of Craig Wright, actually, just a, a, an absolute hilarious story. Uh, I, I highly recommend. If actually, one of my first videos, I did that uh, on, uh, at least we got a little bit into Craig Wright and uh, it's a, it's a pretty interesting story. But I really wanted to go into like who created Bitcoin, who most likely either created it or grabbed on that idea and decided to run with it. And I'm going to say it right out there. I think it was DARPA. It would make the most sense. Now let's take a look at DARPA. Some of the inventions that DARPA has come up with. Um, let's start out with the internet. Uh, some of you may have known it was not, uh, Al Gore and a series of tubes, actually the internet created by DARPA, right? I'll leave this in the link if you want to read it all. Windows. So, all right. So all of a sudden we've got the internet, right? And now we've got windows. So Bill Gates, billionaires, you know, we see all these usual players out there. But the actual creator was you, or if, if you're a tax-paying citizen, you know. So, and then given to these people who become billionaires. So then we've got, what? Google Maps? Wait, it's like the, the most important company in the entire world right now. Probably have the most control as far as a uh, corporation goes would be Google. But look here, we got uh, Google Maps, DARPA, Siri. Hmm, a lot of you guys are talking to something created by DARPA. I guess I should mention what is DARPA, right? Uh, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Uh, to maintain the technological superiority of the U.S. military. So as you can see, most, uh, many of the greatest inventions, uh, sp especially the ones who uh, do the best to keep track of us, were created by DARPA. Uh, Unix and the cloud, the cloud becoming more and more uh, in intertwined with all of these. Now, also, DARPA created GPS, uh, also a big part of what's going on with Google and Siri and, you know, the mix of the Internet and all of this. Uh, GPS, uh, being able to know where you are at all times. Now, I happen to have been in the Marines during, uh, you know, a uh, desert storm, and I remember using uh, the GPS. It wasn't very good, but, you know, I remember actually using the beginnings of that back, I guess it was uh, 1990. So, another DARPA. So, and then Facebook actually was LifeLog, which was uh, CIA. So there's another possibility 
but I got my money on DARPA at this point, or it could have just been the bankers. You know, I mean, we can't really leave the banking uh, cartel out of this because many of you, I hope, if you have not read The Creature from Jekyll Island, it's absolutely a must read for anybody that uh, is learning about banking and finances and uh, where all this Federal Reserve system came from. In fact, I've never recommended it to anyone and had them come back with one single thing they could find that wasn't true about it. So if you can find anything in that book that you don't think is true, then please bring it to me. But uh, that book basically goes into the fact that the bankers created the Federal Reserve System. So in the early 1900s, they came out against the Federal Reserve System, saying that it was going to destroy the banks. Little did we know that it was the bankers who actually wrote the Federal Reserve System and implemented it through Woodrow Wilson. So... Why can't this be the same idea? We've got a, this Satoshi Nakamoto. In 30 years, maybe uh, they'll come out and say, yeah, we created it when it's too late, which, again, is exactly what they've done before. About 100 years ago. Interesting. And also interesting that the SWIFT system, or the, the banking system, the transactions, uh, the ledgers for uh, electronic payments... It was breaking down. It was just too antiquated and not built uh, for what we're, do what we're doing today in the financial world today. Now along comes this thing that's a uh, cryptocurrency, distributed ledger, or something that is uh, infinitely trackable. Every single transaction is logged and will be there forever. Now, of course, they say it's encrypted. Well, what better encryption are you going to find than the U.S. military? I don't think there is a better encryption technology than probably the U.S. military has. Uh, so this is my reasoning, uh, thinking that probably the U.S. military is the most likely culprit uh, for creating the crypto uh, system or the distributed ledger system or the blockchain system or any of these infinitely trackable systems of not just uh, money, but smart contracts uh, and, you know, so many other things. It will be products. It will be people. You can track everything infinitely going, and it will go along together with things like Siri and, uh, you know, Google Maps and the World Wide Web. Uh, so... It may get into a little conspiracy, and I apologize, this channel really isn't about that. But I thought it was such an interesting topic, and I think it's very important to us going forward, especially if you are somebody that is, uh, you know, a freedom first or libertarian. Um, those were kind of the first people to get on board with crypto. And if we're shown in our face that that is maybe the worst idea for freedom and for libertarian views, then, and I'm not necessarily saying that's, that's my, uh, but I do, uh, I do tend towards uh, freedom, and I think most of us do. So it's a very interesting subject, and I hope that you'll give me some feedback on that and let me know if you want to kind of dig deeper. All right. It's easy. <laughs> It's easy. It's easy. You sit there. Air conditioned room. Huh? <laughs> click, 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 click. Click and drag this, mother scratcher.